Republic, the legendary film producer that's become so famous for its fantastic serials. It had the best stuntmen and women. Terrific miniatures and special effects by the Lidecker brothers. Plus actors and directors who were geared for action and could often shoot almost any scene in just one take. Westerns were another Republic specialty featuring Roy Rogers, Gene Autry, The Three Musketeers with John Wayne, and The Three Musketeers with Bob Livingston. But did you know Republic had horror films too? Some Republic simply released, like The Woman Who Came Back, featuring ghosts and goblins who are actually trick-or-treaters, and a would-be witch, played by Elspeth Dudgeon. Thirteen years earlier, she had been chosen by Frankenstein director James Whale to play a 102-year-old man in the old dark house. Valley of the Zombies was a full-fledged Republic production, shot on the lot and featuring Bob Livingston without his horse and six-shooter, with Adrian Booth as the heroine, searching mortuaries like this one to find a blood-draining monster. Adrian, by the way, used the name Lorna Gray when she appeared as the leggy villainess in the serial Pearls of Nyoka. It was also as Lorna Gray that she took the lead in The Girl Who Dared, a frightening old dark house tale with perennial Republic bad guy Roy Barcroft playing a decent sort for a change. The film features a ghost hunt at a scary old mansion on an isolated island. These are just a few of the great movies covered in the book Republic Horrors, a rare glimpse into the serial maker's fright films. The little studio in the San Fernando Valley was so famous for its serials that films like The Lady and the Monster get less attention than they should. You just can't beat dear old Eric von Stroheim when it comes to playing a mad doctor in an isolated castle, a fantastic miniature by the Lideckers. When Eric's experiments move from monkeys to humans, leading Lady Vera Ralston wants out. She finally kills the pulsating brain that von Stroheim has been keeping artificially alive, and dear old Eric is shot to death, making a tidy little exit. There is, however, no exit for the leading character in The Vampire's Ghost. That's the undead John Abbott. He's out looking for victims like Roy Barcroft again, using his hypnotic eyes to control them. Republic bad guy Roy meets a chilling end in this one as the vampire's victim. The Phantom Speaks is another chiller from Republic with Stanley Ridges playing a man controlled by a killer a role similar to the one he played in Universal's Black Friday with Boris Karloff and Bela Lugosi. If you like these great old fright films, you can get Republic Horrors at Amazon or on eBay and learn more about forgotten chillers like London Blackout Murders, whose killer lives in a home said to be haunted by Jack the Ripper and who murders his own victims with a deadly needle in a poison pipe. It features Lester Matthews, the hero in The Raven with Boris Karloff and Bela Lugosi, and in another universal classic with Henry Hull and Valerie Hobson, The Werewolf of London. Republic came up with a similar character of its own, the Catman of Paris. Adele Mara and Lenore Albert are the damsels in distress, and the ferocious Catman covered in hair is actually Robert Wilkie, then working as an extra in Republic Cowboy films. Speaking of which, Catman includes a barroom brawl as good as any Republic Western, but it takes place in a Parisian cafe. And unlike the stagecoaches in Westerns, the stuntmen here drive carriages in a fantastic chase scene outside Paris. Uh, way outside the Carganville movie ranch to be exact. The ladies are lovely though, the monster menacing, and that makes Catman of Paris a lot of fun. If, like me, you love Republic serials, you'll want to read Republic Horrors, the serial studio's chillers. And don't forget its brand new companion volume, Republic Mysteries, the serial studio's whodunits.